Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about IR ranges for various functional groups. So coming to the first one which is alkanes. So for CH stretching it is 2960 to 2850 cm inverse. So for CH bending it is 1485 to 1340. For CC stretching it is 1300 to 800 cm inverse. So these are the IR ranges for alkenes. Now coming to the alkenes. So for CH stretching in alkenes it is 3100 to 3000 cm inverse. For CH bending it is 915 to 905 cm inverse. For C double bond C stretching it is 1675 to 1650 cm inverse. So these are the IR ranges for alkenes now coming to the alkynes. So in alkyne CH stretching is 3500 to 3300 cm inverse. CH bending in alkyne is 1250 to 1210 cm inverse. C triple bond C stretching is 2150 to 2100 cm inverse. So these are the various IR ranges for alkynes. Now coming to the aromatic hydrocarbons. So stretching for aromatic carbon and hydrogen is 3050 to 3000 cm inverse. So these are the various stretching and bending vibrations of hydrocarbons. Now coming to the halides. So first one is iodine, it is 500 cm inverse. Second one is bromine, it is 600 to 500 cm inverse. Third one is chlorine, it is 800 to 600 cm inverse. And the last one is fluorine, it is 1400 to 1000 cm inverse. So these are the various IR ranges for halides. Now coming to the next one which is alcohols. So in alcohol OH stretching is 3700 to 3500 cm inverse. In primary alcohol CO stretching is 1300 to 1 to 10 cm inverse. In secondary alcohol it is same means 1300 to 1 to 10 cm inverse. In tertiary alcohol CO stretching is 1400 to 1360 cm inverse. So these are the various IR ranges for alcohols. Now coming to the IR ranges for ethers. So in ethers CO stretching is 1120 to 1070 cm inverse. And the CH stretching is 2940 to 2850 cm inverse. Now coming to the next one which is aldehyde. So for aldehyde CO stretching is 1740 to 1720 cm inverse. Now coming to the next one which is ketone. So for ketone C double bond O stretching is 1725 to 1700 cm inverse. 
Now coming to the next one, which is carboxylic acid. So for carboxylic acid, C double bond O stretching is one seven one five centimeter inverse. Now coming to the next one, which is ester. So for ester, C double bond O stretching is one seven five zero two one seven three five centimeter inverse. Now coming to the next one, which is amines. So for primary amine, NH stressing is thirty five hundred centimeter inverse. For secondary amine, NH stressing is three four two five centimeter inverse. Now coming to the next one, which is amide. So for primary amides, NH stretching is thirty five hundred to thirty three hundred centimeter inverse. And for secondary amides also, NH stretching is same thirty five hundred to thirty three hundred centimeter inverse. So these are the various IR ranges which are commonly used for interpretation of IR spectra, and this is divided into two categories. First one is fingerprint region, and the second one is diagnostic region or functional group region. This fingerprint region is below thirteen hundred centimeter inverse. Means wave number will be less than thirteen hundred. And this functional group region is above thirteen hundred centimeter inverse. But in some book it is given as fourteen hundred or sixteen hundred like this. And this functional group region is also known as diagnostic region. So, as its name suggests, functional group region means all functional group will show the spectrum in this region, and uh, skeleton will show the uh, spectrum in this fingerprint region. For this fingerprint, fingerprint will not be same for any two compounds. If that is in an enantiomer, then it may be same. Otherwise, in any case, uh, spectrum will not be same. That is why fingerprint region is very important. Now, I am taking few simple examples for interpretation of IR spectrum. So here I have taken the example of ethanol, and in this ethanol mainly three stretching vibrations will occur, and they are one, two, and three. So first one is OH stretching, and the value for OH stretching is thirty seven hundred to thirty five hundred. If we are taking the mid value, then it will be. Three six zero zero centimeter inverse, and the second one is C O stretching. So here value for C O stretching is thirteen hundred to twelve ten centimeter inverse. If we will uh, take the mid value of this one, so it will be one two five five centimeter inverse. Now coming to the next one, which is third, so which is C H stretching. So value for CH stretching is two nine six zero to two eight five zero. If we will take the mid value of this one, so it will be two nine zero five centimeter inverse. Okay. So these three spectra will generally occur in uh, spectra of ethanol and uh, plus fingerprint region will occur. This fingerprint will occur due to presence of this C C skeleton. So spectra for this ethanol will be like this.
so this is for oh group this one is for co group and uh, this one is for ch group and this one is our fingerprint spectra okay now coming to the example 2 if we are taking the example of benzaldehyde so here also mainly three stretching vibrations will occur so first one will be this one second one will be this one and the third one will be this one so first one is c double bond o stretching so value for c double bond o stretching is 1742 1720 if you are taking the mid value then it will be 1730 now coming to the second one which is ch stretching so again ch stretching will be 29602 2850 means 2905 centimeter inverse now coming to the next one which is arh so value for this one arh is 30502 3000 cm inverse so it will be 30 Two five centimeter inverse mid value. So these are the stretching vibrations apart from this plus fingerprint region will be there. Okay. So when we will plot the spectrum of this compound, then it will be like this. So this spectra is for 3025 ARH, this spectra is for 2905 for CH stretching and this spectra is for C double bond O stretching it is 1730 cm inverse and this one is fingerprint vision so accordingly by using the structure or by using the spectra we can interpret the uh, data given for ir spectroscopy in next video i will discuss about instrumentation of infrared spectroscopy thank you